if I am a new biodigester constructor, this is what I will do. And if you are new to this biodigester construction business, this is the first thing that you should do coming up with this video. So let's say I'm new to this biodigester construction business and I'm struggling to have a foothold in the biodigester construction industry. I'm not getting clients and I'm not getting work every day I wake up. This is exactly what I will do. And this is what I employ you if you are new to this biodigester construction business to do. The first thing you should do is to construct one biodigester for yourself. When I say that, what I mean is that you can do it for your house, the house that you are living in. You can do it for your landlord, that's the house that you are renting. You can do it for your auntie, you can do it for your grandmother, and obviously you can do it for your parents, that's if you are living in the house. You can do one and change, let's say it's a, you are living in a three bedroom house or a four bedroom house with your parents. You can do one by a digester and change one toilet seat from wherever the others are going to and put it in the digester or you can change the whole house and you replace it with a bio digester. The reason being that it gives you the advantage in terms of knowing how your bio digester is going to work if you should get a paid client. What it also means is that it's going to give you a background understanding of how the technology actually works and whether truly, truly, truly it's going to work if you do it for somebody. Do a bio digester like that for yourself, for your family member, either for your uncle, your grandmother in the village, or for your family house anywhere. Let you also use it as a means of advertising or promoting yourself, promoting your business, and letting people know what sort of business you are doing now, which is you are into biodigester construction. Because most of the time as a new constructor, you are not going to get people who will be willing to give you work. If you say, you tell somebody, I'm a biodigester constructor, the first question they ask you is, have you done any work, any of this before? Is somebody using your biodigester? Can I have a sample of some of your works that you have done? Can you show me a place where you have done a biodigester for? And I can go there and check and see whether it's truly working as you are saying. This thing gives you that small added advantage to let the person know that I've done a biodigester in my house and I'm using it. You can come and look at it. I've done a biodigester for my friend in my neighborhood. I, they are using it. Come and see how it's working. Or I've done a biodigester for my auntie or for my uncle and they are using it and it's working. Of course, I can take you there for you to look at it and how it's working and how it's changing their lives. Then, from there, you can get other ways, you can get other paid works. So how do you go about getting this job from your family members? The simple thing is to tell them to buy you the materials. If they buy you materials, write it down for them. I need 30 pieces of 5 inches blocks. I will need iron rods, the 12 mm 3 to do the top slab. I will need a wire mesh to do the inside slab or the poros. I will need some black polythene rubber to lay in the so-called pit. I will need some stones or some extra blocks for the so-called pit. I will need a clean out. I will need a four inch PVC pipe for the inlet and then for the outlet. I will need a leche pipe or I will need any other materials that will make sure that your work is done to its completion. And then you can go ahead and get a laborer. That's depending on your expertise. If you, are, you have a missionary skills, then you can go ahead and get a laborer, somebody to help you, hold, uh, help you in the materials. And then you can do your work. If you are also not a mason, you can, then you become the laborer, get the mason and let him lay the blocks for you. And then you can fix the bike just nicely, wherever you intend to fix it at no cost, virtually to the person or to the people you are doing it for. All you are going to get is something just for the day to buy food and water and to pay the laborer or the mason off. And then observe the biodigester. Get your fiber inside, your biodegradable materials, your bulky materials in it, and then you are good to go. Then your biodigester done nicely and neatly. You can equally document the process of you doing that biodigester add a commentary to it and then you can use it as your promoting material 
to your clients, your prospective clients, or anybody who's interested in your job. And from there, you build your confidence one. You tell people that this is what I've done. And then you build your, your business from there. From there, any other work that come, you are not yet a professional or you are not really an expert and you don't have a client. So any small job that you get, you take it, you build your resume, you build your file, you build your profile on it, and then you build it from there. This is exactly what I will have done if I'm a new biodigester constructor. Biodigesters were considered for this property so that we can link the biodigester here into the soak away here and then link this particular biodigester also into the soak away here. A real quick one, Dreamhouse Biodigesters. In this video, we are going to show you how we constructed a biodigester, two of them, plus a soak away for a standard family house coming up right now. When I spoke about two bedroom house, what I meant was that two bedroom apartment, two of them. One is going to be at the top and one is at the down. That one is completed and it's ready for use. But basically, because there's a bigger plan for the homeowner, we thought that it's best to get two biodigesters and separate them and then do a soak away, the traditional soak away, just to serve the two of them. We did the usual biodigester, standard family size biodigester. They've been designed solely and ideally for two or more bedroom houses. My two toilets, three toilets, it can even be one bedroom toilet. Yes, and it still doesn't matter, right? So that's the, the digesters that we did. We did two of them. I'm not going to show you how we went about it right now. Obviously, you know, we have other videos that shows in complete step-by-step -step guide how these biodigesters work and how they were done. But for this particular property, we did those two biodigesters, one at each side of the toilet, just to serve that one. So two toilets, and there's going to be two same bedroom at the top. I'm standing on the stairs right now recording this video just to give you a fair idea of how it was done. But then the key differentiator is that the land, when we did assessment, we realized that the land wasn't good and it wasn't going to soak well. So advice to the homeowner was obvious. Get a soak away done. Not any soak away, but a traditional soak away. If an option to have an overflow pipe that can be connected to a longer or bigger drainage at the other side of the area. And then we were going to leave an overflow pipe so that in case there's a problem, which sometimes you have to envisage when you're doing biodigesters, then that can be sorted out. If a clean out pipe that we are going to put on top of the soak away, that can help sort out the issue of wastewater not seeping into the ground. And the truth for this particular house is the land is not that good. When we started digging and we went, we went down, we realized that it's more clay and it wasn't going to soak. If the users, the capacity of the users, exceed a certain number of people. So the advice to the homeowner is that if a worst case scenario, we are looking at eight or seven people, if it's more than that, then the option of you having to pump the water out, that's it, the wastewater out, is something that you might have to consider. And it also means you have to get a simple pumping system that can link directly to the overflow pipe and then you can pump the water and you can join the bigger pipe that's going into a bigger drainage. So that's basically what we did for this particular biodigesters. We cited one of the digesters right here and did the pipe connection by ourselves because it was going to be very close to the inlet that is coming out. And this is what you can see. We also provided a clean out on top just to serve as an inspection chamber in case it has to be looked out in the near future. And then the key part here is also that the top one will also come and join this one if it's done in the future. And then the idea is also to have a vent pipe or a vent outlet also at the top there just for this particular biodigester. We did the connection here. You can see this job just finished. And then you can see the connection all the way leading here. We use a three inch pipe just to have the connection done. And this is the soak away. This is the soak away with an overflow pipe underneath and then an inspection chamber as well for it. And then the other biodigester is also here. That one is here with the same mindset. 
Also, we did it closer to the inlet pipe. So we are going to just have to do the connection ourselves. And that's what we have done. The one from the top will come all the way and then be joined to it. But this video showing or this channel will explain to you how buy the hairstyles work and how you can use it either as a business and as a homeowner, you can use it as a human waste management option for your dream house.